Hello, this is Solving Inequalities, Compound Inequalities, Example 1. Uh, this example has an A part and a B part. We have to translate the verbal phrase into an inequality, and uh, we also have to graph it. Um, the, uh, these last three sections in this chapter are very tricky. Um, I'll try to explain it as best I can. Um, it's a compound inequality, and when it's AND, we can actually put both of these inequalities into one. When it's OR, we can, really can't put them into one. They have to stay as two inequalities with the word OR. So let's see what I mean here. It says all real numbers that are greater than negative 2 x is greater than negative 2. Okay, that's all real numbers that are greater than negative 2 and less than 3. So uh, x also has to be less than 3. And it's an AND condition so that we can put these all together into 1. Before I do that, let me show you the graph because this is uh, kind of important. And um, it says x is greater than negative 2. So there's my open circle on the negative 2, and it's everything this way. x is less than 3, so it's an open circle on the 3, and it's everything this way. Now see how these are coming together? When the graph is like that, so that they're coming together, that's an AND condition. So that's the graph, and now let me show you how to put these together into a, a compound inequality. Uh, this is really very tricky, and um, I'm going to put X, and that's in the middle. Now to get this one, the big big side of the uh, inequality sign is toward the x. So I've drawn the big side toward the x, the small side toward the negative 2, and here the small side, the pointy side of the inequality is toward the x, and the other number is 3. So when it's an AND condition, and that'll be indicated by a graph like this in between two numbers, then you can put them together into a compound inequality, just one inequality. So if this is what you have, x is greater than negative 2 and x is uh, less than 3, uh, then you can put them together like this and the graph will look like this. Now let's do B part. Uh, B part says uh, all real numbers that are less than 0 or greater than or equal to 2. So um, similar way, all real numbers that are less than 0. All real numbers that are less than 0 or greater than or equal to 2. So all real numbers greater than or equal to 2. There. So uh, when it's an OR, you cannot put them together like I did here. And uh, that's indicated in the graph. See, if we uh, first of all graph x is less than 0, x is less than 0 is an open circle on the 0, and less than 0 is everything this way. x is greater than or equal to 2, that's a closed circle on the 2, and everything this way. So this graph looks like this, and that's very different than this graph where everything is together here they go in opposite opposite directions. So that's all we can do. That's the solution. You don't put these together. 
x is less than 0 or x is greater than or equal to 2. There's the graph and question is answered.